All right, hello, welcome back to a software engineer place. We're back in Autonauts today. Go ahead and jump right in, pick up where we left off. Last time we were working on automating a little lumber mill and getting things going smoothly. Uh, things are not going terribly smoothly at the moment. We've got a lot of a lot of guys not really doing what we would expect. Um, so this guy's not doing anything, and neither is yeah, not, neither of these guys are doing things. Um, we need to actually um, encompass these loops inside loops so that it will keep working after he fails out of both of them. Something that we learned recently. Just like when you're uh, writing code and you exit out of a loop, then there's no way to go back to the beginning. So we need to have this um, exterior loop here so that it will continually enter into these loops. So that'll get him going. Um, Looks like he's out of an axe at the moment, but uh, let's just give him an axe. There we go. Now, let's see if we can fix everyone else here. Okay, that was just um, out of battery, but let's go. Okay, that's working fine. Basically, we need to add another loop here. Go around those two. So, keep going. Who else do we have here? Okay, so this guy's actually at his memory limit, which is unfortunate. So, there's no way for us to put a loop um, around these two exterior loops. And I don't know of a way that we can fix that at the moment. I mean, the easiest way obviously would be to get another bot to um, <laughs> to do the tree seeds, and that might be the best way to do it for now. Um, so yeah, let's um instead of having all of these multi-purpose bots, let's just have a single bot for each uh, each task. So this guy will be um sticky. Sticky. We don't want to exit out of that loop, so he's just gonna go pick up sticks and put them in stick storage. Beautiful. This guy will call uh, acorns. We go pick up the acorn and we drop it in acorn storage. Move that pepper. Set this to be the right area there. Good to go. And we go. And lastly, our woodcutter. So he's just going to cut down the trees. No problem. And you then are going to pick up logs. My thought naming is getting less and less exciting as time goes on. Alright, wait forever. Alright. So if I recall, we were actually working on getting a guy to make tools, and this guy is making just a monumental amount of shovels here. Um, which is funny. Stack 
going up to infinity, right? Okay. I am tempted to see just how, uh, how many shovels we can stack on top of each other here. A bunch of crude picks, apparently. Now let's do that. We've got our toolmaker set just to make picks. And we will make a bunch of picks, and we will get our achievement for tool making, and then we can figure out what to do next. Need to be on dirt. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Stone robot here. 
dig holes for me. Multi-purpose. Multitasking. Please come and dig a hole. Hmm. Well, 
that's a real shame. Let's say if this berry storage is full, then, um, or actually if it's not full, then we will move it and then drop berries inside it. Otherwise, no, let's make this a else instead. is true, it's not full, but that means we're going to move and add, otherwise we're going to move to berry storage 2 and there, and then we're going to put the meat back to the top of the berries, um, and then move to the storage. So, that's how the if statements work. Um, just like in a regular, uh, regular programming language, uh, you have your condition to evaluate, and then if it's true, you execute the code inside the if statement. If it's not true, you either skip over the code, or if you have an else statement, you would execute the code in an else statement here. Okay. So now, let's get a robot to plant our berry bushes. Charge up the deeds. His stick already broke, that's unfortunate. Come along. Okay, so now we're going to want to use the if statement again. We're going to come over here. This time I want to say if it is empty, pick up from the second one. So, okay, and we will drop it in a hole. Okay, let's add that if else. So, if this is, um... If this has things in it, so if it's not empty, then we'll go to it and we'll pick it up from there. Otherwise, we will come here. Um, I seem to have missed a move. 
I'm just putting in way too many steps there to get my... There we go. Okay. Find nearest hole in this area. And then remove the hole. Did it actually get me planting? Is that removing the hole? Use hell okay. There we go. I'll put that on the And... Good. So he is now planting. Let's give my bushwhacker a stick there. Who's this guy? Okay, that's the berry picker upper. Tower of Turf. Alright, well, I think we've made a good good progress this video, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this uh, running here and watch my guys build out the farm and turn up the speed in the video. And then we'll close out. So I will say thank you very much for watching. This has been a software engineer place. If you enjoyed the content, please do uh, like and subscribe, uh, share the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, turn on the notification bell, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video for more uh, software engineering content. Thanks again. Bye. Have a wonderful day.